Hello everyone and welcome to JFG tonight. Wow, wow, wow. Odyssey is going to be acquired, it seems, as an asset in the bankruptcy of a uh, library, a bankruptcy totally caused by the SEC in, in total arbitrary way. It's so unjust what has happened because today we learned that even the other lawsuits of the SEC aren't working. They, they just abandoned their XRP lawsuit. So really, they, they targeted Odyssey uh, in a way that a thousand other crypto projects could have been targeted, but Odyssey made the ultimate sin, and Library, actually, Library Inc. made the ultimate sin of being honest about where they were, who they were, <coughs> and did what most crypto projects do, which is fund themselves, uh, fund themselves with uh, some positioning with respect to the raise, generally an advantageous positioning, and in their case, they were transparent about it. So if you will, they admitted the crime of securities violation. So you end up having, you're going to have the crypto projects that you deserve, which is if you pursue the honest people like library who say to their user base, look, we're keeping those library coins aside. We're doing it because we want to grow this whole system. And they were successful at doing it. That's ultimately their, their big uh, sin. They were successful, whereas every... Every crypto project out there, uh, you know, will, will crash at some point and doesn't deliver on products. But they delivered something. They delivered liberty to the internet so that I can speak to you guys freely. And it's so sad because the SEC is trying, was trying to use them as a springboard, trying to use this case as a springboard to go after the whole crypto community. But this is not even working. They, they're not successful at it. So all they will have is this little historical case where they, okay, they annoyed one particular crypto company and then there's going to be nothing. There's nothing they can do. <clears throat> Santa says, Radix Vetim did an interesting analysis of JF and his reaction to Mama JF's disappearance. So what's the gist of it? Tell us, Santa, because I won't, I won't go check out a video about my private life. I know, I know enough about my private life not to need a bunch of noobs on the internet to be talking to me about it but no see don't send me the link to the youtube video i want a summary summary or get the fuck out go away says does this mean jf is moving to rumble it could uh what the what the message is saying about odyssey is uh, library inc is disappearing the library network may continue in some form form but may crash depends on if there are enough people who are willing to pay servers to maintain it. Uh, Odyssey is basically the only asset of big value that could be sold, that could be sold for a significant amount of money because it's, a, it's the, the most popular Web3 decentralized website basically on the internet. Um, so Odyssey will be bought by the IS bidder. That, that's how it will happen. So no, it's not shutting down. Uh, what they say is they are confident that Odyssey will have value to attract solicitation, to attract um, to attract uh, people who will want to buy it. And yes, AI Pro says Elon should buy it. That would be fucking amazing because uh, Elon is creating an ecosystem of freedom on the internet. And if I can be so lucky as to be saved by Elon on Twitter... And then that our video distribution platform could be also saved by Elon. I think that this is a serious thing that you should consider. Because uh, the fact is, is live streaming platform, the development of it simply doesn't fit the standard of live streaming platform. It is just not attractive for people to be streaming on Twitter. So buy it, but buy Odyssey. It's all done. It's, the work is done for you. All you have to do is integrate whatever Odyssey has done to your larger Twitter ecosystem, and that should be easy. That your engineers will be able to do. But to start from scratch and, and get it right in terms of chat, in terms of regular chat, super chats, in terms of attracting a customer base, you have it all there, Elon, and you probably have it at a cheap price. Uh, that would be... That would be fantastic. Like, I could say that I've been saved twice by Elon. Um, High Security says, how much does it cost to buy? Well, it's going to be a bankruptcy proceeding with whoever is the highest bidder will get Odyssey. Um, 
So that's how uh, they expect it to work. And they expect that there will be bidders because Odyssey is a valuable place. It's like buying a small affront to the monopoly of YouTube. There, there should be a bunch of people interested in doing this. Now the question is, will the new owners decide to go away from uh, freedom of speech? That is the question. Like you have Rumble right now claiming to be a free speech platform. You have Odyssey, who has they, they've had their TOS, um, but they have been uh, they have been honest in, in not trying to pursue a war against their creators. So that has been very appreciated. But who knows? The new owners may want to go more liberty or less liberty. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what will happen. But anyways, this is a very possible thing that if we're not pleased with the new owners of Odyssey, I switch to Rumble. We can do this on a, on a night's notice. So it's not dramatic for me. But I will keep, uh, keep being at Odyssey as long as they offer an acceptable service, good streaming. I know some of you guys are experiencing issues, but it's manageable. And uh, the rates of Super Chats is super... Uh, super uh generous and so why not continue uh lbrt says jeff did you hear about how our weave was helping odyssey function for a while now no i don't know about this uh jupiter's moon io has no business looking this amazing says paul Byrne. wow the moon of jupiter what a load of crap on there doesn't seem like much can happen there. People have talked about this, I believe, as a potential uh, colonization target. But I look at the I look at the yellowness of it, and it's going to need a, a complete aesthetic review. Uh, too yellow, too much green. It looks like baby poo. Uh, you know, if you want to attract people, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do some geoengineering here. Uh, ANC report, Ryan Dawson says today, my, uh, well, yesterday, my site is under attack. Not surprising. Uh, someone was making a joke. They were saying, maybe maybe your site got targeted by a Hamas missile. <laughs> maybe your site is attacking itself. <laughs> uh, that, is a, that is a very good joke. Uh, but yeah, not surprising. The people who are voices for exposing the violations of rights that are currently happening to the Palestinian people uh, will get targeted by these, uh, by these internet attackers that are at the service of the US government, the Israeli government. Not surprising at all. The end of Library Inc. That is the post today on Odyssey. Library Inc. must die. There is no escaping this. It has lost a judgment to the federal government, has several million dollars in debt, and has pledged to shut down. This will be our last post. You can't win, you pathetic life form. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Obi-Wan Kenobi said this to Dart Gensler in SEC vs. Star Wars 1, right before he was struck down by an antique weapon. Securities law. What's happening to Library Inc? Library Inc has debts to the SEC, its legal team, and a private debtor that it cannot pay. Its assets, including Odyssey, are being placed into receivership. As of this post, all library executives, employees, and board members have resigned. All will be doing what is required to satisfy any outstanding legal requirements, but no more. Fortunately, library isn't our network. It's a decentralized network, and all the code powering it is open source. But the library network might die too. Decentralization isn't magic. It only works if enough people use it. Could library w still swallow all digital publishing like we intended? Could this be the beginning of a descent to obscurity? Who knows? It's not like we're library experts. The truth is that even writing this post fills us with anxiety. Everything we say is being scrutinized by people with immense resources that aren't big fans of us, free speech, or any technology that enables dissent. And if we violate another one of United States' incredibly clear and easy-to-follow laws, we might end up in jail. However, we got into the game by being honest, 
in the cryptocurrency space when few were. We then got in trouble for being so honest. It only makes sense to go out the same way. It's our nature. Odyssey, the flagship library app, continues to serve more than 6 million people each month, even while it has been iced. CoinGecko rates Odyssey as the most popular Web3 social media site in the world. Odyssey's popularity makes it the most valuable asset of Library Inc. While it's nearly certain the Odyssey assets will be assumed by someone interested in resuming its growth, it's unclear if Odyssey will continue to, to use the library network in the future, switch to another crypto network, or switch to a traditional Web2 platform. For the data nerds and founders, a full log of our monthly and weekly Odyssey user data is here. When much of the crypto industry was burning money, we succeeded at building usable Web3 software that people actually wanted to use. Absolutely commendable. Absolutely beautiful work there. Uh, a moment of history on the internet, really. Because Web3 suffers from painful login processes, suffers from usability consideration issues, suffers from shy engagement by a, crew, by a crowd that needs to be educated about the nature of logins, uh, wallet control. And Odyssey has taken a path. It has taken the path of extreme usability for the user, basically going, uh, going heads to heads against a YouTube, against a massive monopoly of the internet. And I have so much respect. We, we, will, uh, we will retain this whole part of history on the internet, not as something that, was, uh, that is sad, but as something that was perhaps the first step to something eventually better. Or to even this thing, Odyssey, becoming better itself. What happens to library channels and contents? Over 1,700,000 identities and 30 million pieces of content have been published to the library blockchain. As long as the library blockchain continues to be mined, those identities and records will continue to exist. However, the content itself is not published to the blockchain and requires host nodes to function. If Odyssey chooses to stop utilizing library, then content that is not actively seeded by others will stop being available. Using library desktop is the best way to ensure your content remains available. Can Odyssey switch from library? Maybe, maybe not. It's unclear whether Odyssey has permission to port content that was published from library to somewhere else. Additionally, at one point, Odyssey committed users that it would always use library so long as it was legal to do so. But we're feeling pretty done with legal fights, and we'd rather see our friends at Odyssey continue to do productive work supporting free speech. Ultimately, this will be decided by users, not by us, and we encourage users to wait and see. Is the library token still a security? Ha 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 ha! We're not falling for believing this question is answerable again. In our case, the judge was clear that only Library Inc. broke the law, and only because it kept a significant pre-mine of the library token. But there was the Ripple decision, and if you add those together, then... Sentence redacted by legal team. Will Library Inc. be continuing its appeal against the SEC? No. Where is the library community now? The Library Foundation runs a Discord chat and some other communities. What happens to Library.com, GitHub, and other assets? The Library.com domain, Library social media handles, GitHub, and all other assets are to be used to satisfy debt. That is, they will be sold. We recommend use trusting Jack Robinson, Jack Robinson, on any issues or debates of library code authenticity, as even this channel itself is technically an asset of Library Inc. In other words, they are gone. Uh, so long. Our online freedom is increasingly threatened as it simultaneously become increasingly necessary. We're proud to have played a role in the efforts to keep the internet free, but also remorseful to have everything play out as it did. Even harder than dealing with the federal government, is the idea that we would have let people down who had faith in us. To creators, users, and investors, in that order, thank you for putting your confidence in us. Your confidence in us. 
We won't apologize to the government, but we're grateful and apologetic to you. Bye. Well, that is how an era of the internet ends. I, it, what goes on from here all depends about the level of ninja we have here. What kind of ninjas are we dealing with? Are we dealing with level 2 ninjas or are we dealing with level 3 ninjas? Because, of course, this whole... Uh, the, the thing is they can't say what they want to say. Okay, that's the key. If they were to say it, uh, their post would probably send them in jail. But all that, all that the future of Odyssey and library relies on to is whether they were ninja enough to uh, ensure that some other ninjas would continue their ninja doings. <laughs> it's as simple as this. Basically, these guys were operating a company and they were operating a decentralized system, but that decentralized system relied heavily on a backbone of paid for servers that they were willing to pay for themselves. The question is, do they have enough resources or is there someone out there who has enough resources to restore those ninja servers somewhere else? And that is it. That is all that the continuation of the current state of library and maybe not Odyssey, but certainly the continuation of library as it stands all relies on this. That is a big problem that ultimately we, we are in a world that expects service from other people on the internet. And the fact is no, no, no system is truly decentralized. It always boils down to the spinal cord. It's always holding on the backbone of a bunch of ninjas, a bunch of internet ninjas. And the, the question is when these ninjas fall, um, is there someone else to replace them? Have they, do they care so much about their creation that they have thought about the sustainability of it even when they are not there anymore? And when, when perhaps they, some of them die, some creators of crypto will die at some point and will their project continue? It's all about whether, it's all about ninjas and how much of them are available and willing to do that. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.